Hello, welcome to day six of 21 days of Immersed in the Blessing. I'm John Carmichael, pastor at Evangel North Church, and I just am so grateful that God is doing so many amazing things. Testimonies are coming in as what God is doing, and today we are immersing ourselves in the blessing of God. We're looking at the seven redemptive names of God. We're looking at each of these, focusing in on them, immersing in them, because we found that as people will focus in, immerse themselves, even for just a short time, but being very consistent, that we see enhanced and powerful results. And we're believing that in your life today in Jesus' name. Now, if you've not already done so, probably you have if you're watching it, but some people, different forms you may be watching, I wanna encourage you to go to evangelnorth.net forward slash immersed, and if you will find great tools that are gonna help you as we continue to progress. One of those tools is an updated pamphlet that I wrote called Then, uh, then They Shall Fast, unlocking the power of biblical fasting and this is a free of charge you can go to evangelnorth.net forward slash immersed and you can download this a lot of great information about fasting as we are doing this in conjunction to the 21 day fast with dr bob rogers he's calling this year 2024 the year the open door and it's going to be a great blessing but we've got some information that'll help you and then we have the uh, immersed in the blessing prayer guide in which we go over the seven redemptive names of God and while we only do one a day on the broadcast here uh, we do ask you to pray through these stay focused on them write the scriptures down memorize the scriptures really give yourself over to the Word of God in each of these areas and we know God's going to do something amazing now on the back here's something important is there's a place for you to write 10 of your greatest needs this is so important be as specific as your faith will allow you to be and write down what you're believing God for and, and, and call it in and believe God because it's gonna be a great joy for you to be able to cross off these as God answers them in the name of the Lord. Well, today, again, we are dealing with session six on the seven redemptive names of God. And this today, we are going to be talking about Yahweh Nissi, the Lord who is our victory. This comes from the uh, book of Exodus, chapter 17 and verse 15, in which we realize that God is our victory, that God desires victory for us in the new testament i want you to turn to the book of first john chapter 4 verse 4 first john 4 4 in first john 4 4 we find a very powerful verse of scripture that really talks about the victory that God wants to do on the inside of us. You see, some people believe that maybe, you know, maybe I'm a loser. Maybe God doesn't want me to win. Maybe I'm supposed to be a person that things just don't work out for them. But you know, John 4, 4 tells us something a little bit different. It says, you are from God, little children, and have overcome them. Overcome what? All the different adversaries of the sin, of Satan, of the flesh, of the world. It says, you are from God, little children, and have overcome them. Saying you're winning. You're on the winning side. To overcome means you're winning. You're, you're, you're going to walk in victory. You're, you're not supposed to be defeated. You're not supposed to be going under. No, no, no. God says you have overcome. You are an overcomer. Why? Why are we overcomers? This is so important. Before I read the rest of the verse, let me set it up for you. This verse is important because... 
We believe, many believe, well, I'm a loser. I'm not going to win. Things aren't going to work out for me. Oh, Pastor John, you don't know all the bad that's in my family. And we never succeed. And we, we are never victorious. And we don't prosper. And we don't get ahead. Well, no, the Bible says you're of God, first of all. You're not of the flesh. And then it says, here's the reason you've overcome them. Because, this is why you can know that God wants you to win. Because greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. Why today can you have great confidence, great faith that you're going to win, that you're going to come out on the victory side? Well, not because of who you are, not because of your family, not because of your education, your finances. I mean, some of you, maybe you've got all of that's great and wonderful, and that's fine. But none of those are the reason why we know that God wants us to win. God wants us to win. My reason for expecting to win in 2024 and beyond, my reason that I'm going to win, that I'm going to come out on the victory side is because the greater one, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, God the Father, lives on the inside of me. Greater is He, the one, God, on the, the greater is the one on the inside of you than he that's in the world. Listen, we are winners. We are victors. We are overcomers. You are going to overcome today because of the greater one. I want to pray for you today. Some of you may be in a battle right now, and I'm here to tell you that the greater one lives on the inside of you. I'm here to tell you right now that God has called you to overcome. God has called you to victory. Get a victory mindset. Shake off that mindset of defeat. Shake off that mindset that you're going under, that you're in trouble, that things aren't going to work out with you. Shake that off in the name of the Lord and begin to declare today, the greater one, the greater one is inside of me, and I'm going to overcome today. Day because of the greater one. Father, today I pray. I want you to pray with me. Father, today I pray for my friends today. And God, I thank you that we are immersing ourselves in the fact that you, the greater one, lives on the inside of us. Therefore, we're going to overcome. We're going to succeed. We're going to rise up. We're going to be what God's called us to be. We're going to do what God's called us to do. Why? Because the greater one lives on the inside of us today. Come on, lift your hands up right now. Father, I thank you today for victory. I thank you today, Father, for victory in their life. In the name of the Lord Jesus, hallelujah, 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 in Jesus' name. Now, I want you to begin to declare the greater one lives on the inside of me. Begin to say, I'm going to win. Begin to renew your mind. If you're one that struggles in this concept, in having faith and confidence that you're going to win. I want you to meditate on this verse. Make this verse something that, that you keep in your mind, that you keep in your mouth, that you renew yourself, that you immerse yourself. Start listening to messages that speak to the fact that you're going to win, that you're going to succeed, that, that you're going to, to rise up and be what God's called you to do in the name of the Lord. Why? Why? Because of us? No, because of him, the greater one, lives on the inside of you today. You're going to win. Hallelujah. You're going to win. You're going to overcome. You're not going to be defeated in Jesus' name. Oh, no. You're going to win today in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah for the glory of God. Listen, we love you. We're praying for you. We're believing God for great things in your life. I encourage you, if you would, to go to evangelnorth.net forward slash immersed. Evangelnorth.net forward slash immersed. And let's see what God will do. Come on, stay focused in. Go back and listen to the previous messages as much as you can. Get this word in you. Stay inundated with it. Stay immersed with it. And God's going to do something amazing in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, God bless you. And until next time, stay immersed in the blessing. Amen.